Hey everybody, it's Jacob from Wild Academy and welcome to day 30 of the Learn Ruby programming tutorial series. Today we're going to be going over the concatenation operator or shovel operator, which is a lot easier to remember. So to show you that, I'm just going to type in print and I'm going to type out a string here and the symbol is two less than symbols right there. We're going to push in my last name here and then we're going to save it. I'm just going to save it as shovel.rb and I'm going to open it in my start command prompt with Ruby. And I'll pull that in. I'm using the git bash, but you can just use the command prompt with Ruby. You can see here that it put out Jacob Williams. I can just put a space in there if I wanted to. But for this uh, little example, we're not going to. So let's go ahead and just delete that real quick. And you can do that with your last name. So let's push a variable into a array. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new array and we're going to make that my friends, my fires, my friends. And we're going to set that equal to just list out your friends. Make sure you use the brackets. And we're going to do these as strings. So I'll do Mike as one. And we'll do Jinji as another. We'll do Troy. And we'll make that one true. So let's do something a little interesting here. We're going to do puts. We're going to type out a string and we're just going to output you currently have and we're not we're not going to, you know, we're going to break down the fourth wall and we're just going to say what you, we currently have in the uh, in the array using our delimiter here with the hashtag and the curly braces. We're going to call my friends array and go come outside of that and then in your my friends array now I, I'm able to type it out this way because I'm not using that delimiter there add and another and other another name Please. There we go. Bring that in. So now we want to call our gets.chump. And we'll just set that equal to new friend. And we'll do a gets.chump. So that'll take the feedback that we type in. You all know this is basic stuff we already covered. But now we want to push our new friend uh, using our shovel operator into our array. So we can type my friends and we're going to use the shovel operator here. I'm going to type new friend. She's tabbed autofill that. So from here our array is going to include Mike, Troy, Drew and the new person that we add. I'm, going to, I'm just going to shorten this up a little bit. There we go. But we want to um, we want to do something a little bit more interesting than that. So what we're going to do is we're going to also add in another variable. We're going to do last friend. And we're going to set him equal to Adam. We want to use Adam in a sentence, but we don't want to put Adam into an array. So what we're going to do here is we're going to type out puts. We're going to do my top friends are, we're going to use our delimiter here, curly braces, and let's do the my friends one. Now after this we need to do a dot join because what that's going to do is it's going to join each individual item up here in our my friends and it's going to make those one string and after the join, we need to actually make sure that we format it so that we have a common between each individual one. So I'll do dot join. And then we'll do our, and we do our parentheses. And outside of that, we're going to do our apostrophes and a comma here plus a space. The reason we're doing apostrophes here is because we already have quotations outside of here. So we're going to do that. Just make sure you have myfriends.join apostrophe 
and then we're going to have a space here so that after each one it goes Mike, uh, comma, Troy, comma, Drew, comma. Now, the thing to note here is that it's going to give us a comma in between each individual one, but it's not going to have a comma on the last one. So we need to come in here, just add a comma in right there. Now we're going to put an and in. And we're going to use the push or shovel or concatenation operator. We're going to add in our last friend, Adam. Then we're going to do our concatenation operator again. And we're going to do uh, space for a reason. Okay. So now we have it set up to put out this whole string. We've now pushed these items into this original string here. And we will save this. Just save it as shovel again. So now we can run this file. So just open your command prompt with Ruby. And then pull that in. Shovel dot rb. You currently have Mike, Troy, and Drew in your my friends array. Add another name, please. So let's do Sarah. And it says here, my top friends are Mike, Troy, Drew, Sarah, Adam, for a reason. So what we need to add here, we need to add an and. So if we come in here, then we can do an and before this last friend push. So let's add in an and here. We're going to need spaces in between each one as well. We'll also need to shovel that in. Save it. Come back in. You currently have Mike, Troy, Drew. Type in Sarah. My, my top friend are Mike, Troy, Drew, Sarah, and Adam for a reason. I'm just going to pop back in here real quick. My top friends are, there we go. Let's let that OCD thrive. All right, new friend. Let's do Amanda. Amanda O. My top friends are Mike, Troy, Drew, Amanda, and Adam for a reason. So to show you that we have not added in last friend to our array, let's actually slide this over a bit. There we go. We can actually puts pust. We can put out puts out our my friends array. Save that here, bring that back in. Sarah again. My top friends are Mike, Troy, Drew, Sarah, and Adam for a reason. Mike, Troy, Drew, Sarah. Adam is no longer, or Adam is currently not been pushed into our array. So as I stated earlier, there's more ways to push an item into array. So the first one we're gonna go over is just the dot push. And if we do our parentheses, we can add in our last friend right here. So we can do last underscore friend. Go ahead and save that. Now this will add last friend to the end of our array. So if I come back in here, it'll give us Mike, Troy, Drew, Sarah, and Adam. Well, let's say I wanted to add Adam to the beginning of our array. What we can do is dot unshift right there. And then we just do we just do last friend as we have it. Go ahead and hit save. Pull that in, hit enter. You currently have Mike, blah, 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 Sarah, and we get Adam, Mike, Troy, Drew, and Sarah. So it took the my friends, unshift dot, last friend, and pushed it into the front, the first part of the array. So that's pretty cool. But what if we wanted to put Adam as our third character? What we can do right here is instead of put unshift, we want to do insert. And then we come in here and we want to make our first, we're going to call out what placement we're going to take. So if it's going to be the third item, if you remember, we've talked about this, it's going to be two. So we do two comma, and then we do last friend. And if we hit save, then we go into the command prompt, go ahead and hit, uh, Let's do Jill, hit enter. Now we have Mike, Troy, Adam, Drew, and Jill. So that's cool. So we could actually do uh, one and that'll put it in the second place because remember zero is considered the first place. Hit save, come in here. 
let's do uh, John. There we go. Uh, Mike, Adam, Troy, Drew, and John. And as we told it, it put Adam as our second item in our array. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and if you have any questions, make sure to ask in the comments below. I will see you next time in day 31 of the Learn Ruby Programming tutorial series. Blech, that's a mouthful.